First, I want to volunteer our ranch for uh, the 9-11 trials. We have a ranch called the Flying X Ranch. It's in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. It's 120 square miles of remoteness. It's very remote. Yet, it will be a great place for the 9-11 tri terror trials because it's adjacent to the White Sands Missile Range, so there are airports there to bring the terrorists in. It'll be on private property. It will not be on a military base. And uh, you, the government is welcome to bring in all the equipment that they need to set up for a trial. They can put up a portable building, have a trial in the building. They can create a little jailhouse on the ranch and then, you know, keep the guys there under military guard. It's so remote that it would be very difficult to access for anybody. And uh, it's uh, a great place. It'll be out of the major city where, you know, people would be worried about terrorists. Uh, if a terrorist tries to come and get us, we'll shoot him anyway, you know, we're not worried about that. Uh, so if uh, the government needs it, we have 120 square miles, it's all fenced. You know, we can put military guards, you can let the military guard it, you can let the state guard it, but you know, it would be better than having it in Newburgh, New York, or New York City, or Chicago. It'll be in the remote desert, in the Ch Chihuahuan Desert, it's the northernmost region of the largest desert in North America. So it's a hot, dry place. You won't have to worry about giving them heat in the winter because it's not very cold. And it'll be a cheap place for the government to, you know, to have the 9-11 trials. And then when the trial is over, just remove all the structures and it'll be back to the desert again. We'll see you. Thank you. The Flying X Ranch, as you can see from these pictures, is in a very remote desert yet is centrally located so that it is between Albuquerque and El Paso. So there's plenty of, of tra air transportation to the local area. There's also an airport in Truth or Consequences. The spaceport is in Truth or Consequences. And also the White Sands Missile Range is nearby. It's our neighbor to the east. So this ranch would be an ideal location. It will be on private property. It won't be on federal land so that you know that you have no issue there that you know it's being held on a military base. Security will be easy because if you have police or the military there, it's uh, well suited for, for, for observation to see who's coming in and going out. The ranch is fenced. Being that it is so remote, and uh, there is not much chance of uh, you know gawkers coming in you know a lot of tourists so it'll be easy to uh, do the terror trials there any buildings that the government wants to install they can and then after the trial take the buildings away so it will not become a tourist attraction after the trials the ranch can revert right back to ranching but uh, we will keep our cattle there while the ranch while the terror trials are going uh, we can find a, a plenty of locations there to, to set up for the for the terror trials. It should not be a problem, as as there are there is 120 square miles on the ranch, and that's a pretty big ranch. That's approximately 10 miles by 12 miles long. I mean that that's there ought to be enough room in there someplace to put a terror trial. Uh, we don't want any money. We'll let the government do it for free. And uh, we'll provide all the necessary assistance to, to, to accomplish this in a timely fashion for the government. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, saying we can profit by it, because how can we profit by it? All we, all, all we use the ranch for is, you know, for cattle. And we do do meteorite hunting there and uh, fossil hunting. But, uh, and uh, we do have a program for meteorites and fossil hunters. But, you know, that's very seldom used. So if, if the government would like to call me about this, Give me a call at 215-651-8329. We want to be part of the solution. Thank you. Bye. These are three-foot Leland cypresses here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast. We sell thousands of thousands of Leland cypresses and green giant arborvitas each year. These are our three foot Leland cypresses. Next to it are our four foot. And over here are some green giant arborvitas. And we have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs for you, as well as lots of landscaping stone and other materials. This is the berry cluster of the blue muffin viburnum. 
It's a arrowwood viburnum that we sell here at Highland Hill Farm. It has a very glossy leaf. The old growth is glossy, but the new growth is exceptionally light colored and glossy. It's very easy to grow. It's called arrowwood viburnum by many people in the trade. It has a white cluster of flowers in the springtime and these blue berries in the fall. This set of plants here are about three to four foot high and will grow to be about 10 foot tall and maybe 10 foot wide. We're along a real busy road here. This is Route 313. We're in Fountainville, PA. And as you can see, we have a lot of plants, trees, and shrubs here at the nursery, besides the blue muffin. And over here, I'll take you over and I'll show you our double file viburnums. And these are double file viburnums. And again, these viburnums are generally considered to be deer resistant. So if you need a, a nice shrub for the background of your property, it, they make nice naturalized borders and hedges. This, is, this would also be a great choice. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We do deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast. We have, we have viburnums both potted and bald and bald and burlap from in the field. So give us a call, 215-651-8329.